Hey folks, welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be diving into QuickBooks Online and showing you how to create custom invoices. If you're new to Ask a CPA, please remember to hit that subscribe button down below as we'll be coming out with weekly QuickBooks Online tips and tricks as well as some amazing business and individual tax tips. So make sure you hit that subscribe button as we have some really awesome videos planned in the next few weeks that you do not want to miss. Alright, today we'll be covering how to create invoices and how to customize those invoices with your business logo. Alright guys, let's jump right in. Today we're going to be using Craig's Design and Landscape Services. So first I'll show you how to customize an invoice and then we'll show you how to go ahead and create that invoice. So first, head over to the spinny wheel up here in the top right hand corner and under your company hit Custom um, Form Styles. All right, now right here you can select new style and then invoice. So from here there's design, the content, and the emails, all of which are fully customizable. So you'll see QuickBooks has some templates in here where you can select the different type of invoice that you want. It even got friendly. I mean, what's not to like about that? There's fresh, there's bold, there's modern, there's airy classic, airy new. But let's go friendly. Of course, we want to do the friendly one. Um, you can add your invoice here. So let's go ahead and add that. I went ahead and uploaded this already. I created this on Canva. If you're not familiar with Canva, jump over to Canva, C A N V A dot com. And um, you can create logos. You can create all kinds of really cool um, stuff for free. And they also have a, a subscription package as well. Uh, it's a really great website. I use it all the time for all of our marketing material. Um, so let's go ahead and select that and we'll hit save. And there we go. We got the logo and QuickBooks Online already use that logo. Uh, use the colors off of our logo to customize the different fonts and colors that they used in the invoice. Um, so that's perfect. We don't, we're not going to change the font, but you can if you want, or you can print it out and change the um, the different widths or or you know footnotes or however you want you want to change that you can do that right here um, the content if you wanted to dive in and change something specific about either the header the main description or the footnote you can do that you can add a footnote that'll show up on every one of your invoices um, you can do that here and then the email this is the email that is sent out to the client with the invoice so if as long as you have your emails set up properly an invoice will be sent out with your invoice and the client can just go ahead and pay that right from your email so it really saves you a ton of time in doing running around doing collections um, but you can adjust this however you want to um, we're just gonna leave that right there how it is I'm pretty happy with that and we'll select done and there you go. So now let's go over to sales. And here are your invoices that are outstanding. Um, you can look at your all of your sales. You can look at your estimates, your payment links, customers, and products and services. So before we do an invoice, let's take a look at our products and services. So in products and services, this is where you'll set up every single uh, service and or product that you offer um, with the cost and if it's taxable or non-taxable. So in order to do that, you would select the new. It can either be an inventory item, if it's product, if it's a non-inventory product, or if it's a service um, or a bundle. So if you have like um, those baskets that they send out to customers, um, you know, like the subscription baskets, that's kind of what I think of when I think of those bundles um, where they just put you know four or five different products in and send them out. Um, yeah, <laughs> fruit baskets or cheese and wine, yeah, something like that. There were multiple products in, in one bundle. Um, but most of the time, um, we're doing services or, or inventory. So you would just select this and then you can fill out the name, the description, the SKU if you have one, uh, the price per unit, and whether it's subject to sales tax. Let's go ahead and close out of that. This is a landscape and design company, so they have design services. Um, 
and then you know fountains landscaping sprinklers pest control those are all the different services that they offer and so they have you know pumps rock fountains these are all inventoryable items and they have quantity on hand and they've got cost per product and the sales price per product so let's go ahead and go over to an invoice so you can go through sales and go to invoices or you can select new and invoice and you'll get to the same spot now this is the main invoice screen that you're going to want to fill out and this is what is going to fill out that invoice that we just showed you how to customize so so to set up a new customer you would just select add new you go ahead and you want to make sure you fill in their company name their email address their mobile number um, and their billing address but it's really important that you at least fill in their email address because that's where they're going to be receiving that invoice uh, but I like to fill in as much information as I possibly can because it's it's really important just to make sure that all that is being tracked properly um, but for this example we're gonna use Bill's windsurf shop here we go and as you can see the email address populated as well as the billing address and then you could still customize this within the invoice and that's totally fine the terms uh, when we set up that customer we set up their terms on net 30 but you can always change that as well uh, it has the invoice date as of the date you're creating this so I'm filming this video on September 25th 2022 and then it does it 30 days out from that date if you change the terms to net 15 it'll automatically adjust the due date as to agree to those terms we're gonna leave it with net 30 tags are um, tags are for when you have different industries say we you have um, certain locations or different funnels or product lines or different customer types that you want to track and be able to run reports based on that information it's what you'd use tags for we're not going to be using those in this example um, let's see so products or service we're going to let's do an example with a service first so let's do design and you can always add more information on here if you wanted to you could say uh, custom design Kate at 3.5 hours then the quantity put 3.5 and her rate $75 an hour which comes to $262 and 50 cents and this is not subject to sales tax we're gonna leave that one uh, blank and we're not putting the service date of course you could put that in there if if um, you worked on this client on a specific date and you wanted to add in that information uh, now let's show a product as well let's, see, let's do a pump fountain pump let's say it's one and the rates fifteen dollars and that is taxable so let's include that let's do another product just for fun let's do some rocks garden rocks awesome Let's do 30 garden rocks and this doesn't have a rate on here I guess they have multiple rocks which they charge at different rates we'll say these are 40 these are big rocks these are 45 bucks a rock and those are subject to sales tax as well so that's thirteen hundred and fifty dollars plus fifteen dollars which is subject to sales tax that's thirteen hundred and sixty five dollars and then let's do a discount on this just to show how that works as well you can do a percentage or you can do a value let's do a percentage let's give these guys a 10 percent discount because they're friends of ours and we'll say we're in california which is an eight percent sales tax so as you'll see the sales tax is adjusted for the discount so if i took this discount off the amount of sales tax increases so with a 10 percent discount it also discounts the sales tax so on this invoice you could write in some a message you can customize this as much as you want you could add some pictures or you know whatever whatever you want to add to your invoice um, you can add that on there and then let's save and send and that's it guys we'll preview the invoice this is from us at Craig's design and landscape service and this is going to Bill <laughs> all right Bill pay your invoice buddy um, there we go there we have it and then send and close.
So it's a sample company, so it's not going to send that invoice. But I wonder why it didn't take. Oh, it's taking the standard. That's why. All right, so let's let's run back and build build bill bill one more time <laughs> let's just do let's just do some design uh let's see 30 hours 75 bucks let's customize this one now let's use our custom invoice that we created there we go that looks better so now we have our logo on it and this is going to bill and we're happy with all the information but this is the this is the custom bill that we created so let's save and close there we go and now you can see over here under all sales our invoices are open and outstanding those are all going to bill bills a good customer <laughs> hopefully bill pays his invoices but uh, that's how you do it guys so Please, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm always happy and uh, jump on here all the time and, and check those questions. So feel free to leave a question down below or you can head over to our website at askacpa.co and leave us a question there as well and I'll respond accordingly. Uh, thanks a lot and we really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys, and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care.